Hello again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'll be looking at the Dion MX MP3 player. What is included in this package is a neck strap, a USB 2 cable, stereo earphones, a AAA battery, the manual, some drivers and software, and the MP3 player. This unit weighs in at only one ounce. Certainly very, very lightweight, very compact, and extremely attractive looking. This unit not only plays your songs, you can use it as a voice recorder, you can also store data on this, and you can also import images, so you can have different boot images, I'll show you how that's done a little later on in the video, into this unit. And you can also get different watch functions on this unit as well. Now let me go through some of the different key features on this. At the top left hand corner is where you plug the stereo earphones into. At the top right is where the volume controls are up and down to increase or decrease the volume. You also have a mode button here and as well at the front you have the play or stop and right here is the LCD display panel. And at the bottom right hand corner there is a display button, a bookmark button, as well as a hold button. At the bottom left of the unit there's a voice record button and a USB connection. On the back of the player is where the battery goes installed. You can see here it's very easy to remove this plate and pop in a standard AAA battery. Let me detail some of the buttons that are on this particular unit. At the front here we have the power on or off or play or stop button. To power it up, just click that button. You can see that the unit is powering on. If you want to play a song, just go ahead and click on play. You want to stop the song, click on stop. If you want to turn the unit off, go ahead and hold it down and it will power the unit off. At the top right hand corner is where the volume controls are to increase or decrease the volume. That's pretty simple. Right here you get a little bit more complicated. This is a mode button and this has many many features. For instance, if you're playing a song you can seek forward or backward or skip forward or backward. That also applies to a voice recording. That is pretty simple. Just forward or backward with the button. Now if you press inward you're going to get a whole bunch of other options which I will go through. There is a whole bunch of settings here in this particular menu. You can repeat one song, repeat all songs, repeat a list that you have created. You can also shuffle or do an intro. You also have an EQ setting. You can set your own EQ or just use the normal setting. Also you have a file option in here. You can go and delete whether it's voice recorded data or music and you can also format the whole 64 megabytes or if you have the 128 megabyte version you can just format that as well. Going back here to the main menu you also have a watch setting you can set the time as well as an alarm in here. Also you have a display setting Now you can adjust the backlight, the contrast, the scroll speed as well as a logo. You can actually import an image inside of this unit using their software. It's very very easy to do and you probably notice that I have my logo on this display. As soon as you turn it on you can see it. Also there is a bookmark feature in here and the way that you get bookmarks is for instance if you're playing a song and you want to bookmark it you can do it via this button down here. Now if you want to delete those particular bookmarks just go back into the menu, scroll down to bookmark, and you can delete a single bookmark or delete all the bookmarks that you have created. There is also a tempo option in here where you can adjust the playback speed, and this is great really for foreign language study. At the bottom right hand corner we have a hold button. If for instance I put that on right now, the unit is off. If I try and turn the unit back on, it's going to tell me that it's into a hold pattern and it's simply not going to turn on. That's fantastic if this is in your pocket or in a purse somewhere and you want the unit really to stay off and not turn on conserving battery power. Now if you have for instance the unit on, I'll take it off hold, turn the unit on and if you want for instance play a song let's say if you're in the midst of playing a song and you have the hold feature here turned on what that will do is ensure that by touching any of these other buttons it's not going to interfere with playback. 
At the bottom left hand corner is a voice record button. You just hold this down really to record voice. And also there is a USB connection. Now the USB cable I did show you earlier, this part here goes plugged into the player first, then this part goes plugged into your PC. And once plugged into the USB port, it will be automatically detected by Windows XP. And once connected, the unit will flash. Whether you're playing songs, recording voice, or storing data, this unit makes it very simple to do. This is the 64 megabyte version. There is also a 128 megabyte version of this product available. Overall, this is a great product. Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds, and this has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also, be sure to pop into my website at www.3dgameman.com. And while you're there, you can go into the forums. If you haven't already registered, registration is completely free. Until the next time, take care.